Attenuation is a very important word when it comes to properly setting up any cellular signal booster. But what exactly is attenuation? Attenuation is a general term that refers to any reduction in the strength of a signal. It is also referred to as loss. So how does a reduction in signal help us ensure that a signal booster will work at its best? In SureCall systems, there's a difference between automatic attenuation and automatic gain control, or AGC. AGC adjusts the booster automatically to compensate for signal fluctuations. Automatic attenuation automatically reduces the booster's incoming and outgoing signal reception, depending on what the software tells it to do. Manual and automatic attenuation have different advantages and disadvantages. In any booster system, there is an indoor antenna known as the broadcast antenna and an outdoor antenna known as the donor antenna. In an ideal scenario, each antenna is both receiving and projecting signal at their maximum power level. If these two types of antennas are installed too closely, they will create a feedback loop that will ultimately force the booster to shut down. When the booster automatically adjusts attenuation, both the outside donor antenna and inside broadcast antenna attenuate in equal amounts. This is great for ease of install, but may affect coverage as all of the antennas inside will be equally affected. On a booster where there are dip switches that control the uplink and the downlink separately, you have the ability to create what is called asymmetrical gain. This means you can reduce the amount of incoming signal without sacrificing indoor coverage to remedy things like overpowering and inadequate separation. It can be intimidating to see switches or dials on a booster. It is also time consuming to configure the booster if it requires manual attenuation. However, SureCall has a way to remotely monitor and adjust the booster's attenuation levels called the Century Remote Monitoring System. Automatic attenuation is accomplished through software. This makes installing boosters with automatic attenuation quick and easy. The disadvantage to relying on software to automatically adjust both gain and attenuation is that you cannot control how much coverage area you get with the booster. Also, if your booster automatically attenuates, proper separation is a must. Manual attenuation is the way to go if you are working in an area where there are many cell towers that could overpower the booster. It is also great for areas where you need to adjust the coverage areas. Many experienced installers like having the ability to control the gain of the booster. Manual attenuation is also important if you can't get enough separation between the outside and the closest inside antenna. Keep in mind that increasing the distance between the internal antennas and the outside antenna is often a better solution than manually adjusting the booster. Automatic attenuation works well in more rural areas where the cell towers are more spread out. Open coverage areas like warehouses and factories are a nice fit for boosters with automatic attenuation as well. Many installers working in the residential market like automatic boosters because of the quick and easy nature of their installation. They are also great if you know you can get enough space between the installed antennas. While there are advantages and disadvantages to both manual and automatic attenuation, it's nice to know that there are choices when it comes to cellular signal boosters. For larger applications, the ability to configure the booster is a distinct advantage. For those interested in installing boosters themselves, automatic attenuation might be a better fit. As always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with someone here at SureCall. We're always here to help.